last two championship games for us. Uh, yeah. you have tonight? I got skis. Skis skis by 90. But, um, <laughs> all right, all right. I, uh, my little cousin plays for him, so I'll be at the game. Uh, looking forward to cheering those guys on. It's kind of cool to go to the high school. I mean, but that takes you back, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I, I mean, I played in that game out there. Um, it was at the time I knew I was going to play here, so it was a little – a little different for me, knowing that I was going to play on that field more, but it's an experience those guys will never forget. Yeah, I, I plan to. Um, I haven't decided what my plan is yet in the future. Um, that's a conversation I need to have with more people before I decide. Um, but yeah, my plan is to do senior day. Yeah, absolutely. It's I mean, it's changing the game of football. Um, I'm, I'm in a unique spot to where I can play another year of football, where I can get bigger, faster, stronger, and make a lot of money while I'm doing it. Um, it puts me in a unique spot. Um, but I mean, there's there's a, there's great opportunities at the next level too. I mean, there's there's pros and cons to both that I need to weigh, um, and that's a decision that still needs to be made on my part. Mm-hmm. It, I mean, it's going to feel a little weird because um, I, I, I don't know when it's going to be, if it's going to be my last. But that's, I mean, that's how I tell guys they should play is play it like it should be. Play it like it is your last game because you never know when it's going to be. A lot of guys get hurt. A lot of guys have season career ending injuries that really, I mean, hamper them. So it's, that's kind of my mentality is just play every game like your last. And, and in this case, it could be my last year for Nebraska. Beating Iowa in anything is, is a great feeling for a Nebraska fan, um, and we need to get that one done for the fans, the, this this university, this program. It would, it would uh, set us on a good good step towards what this program is going to become. It would it'd put us on a good trajectory leading into this offseason, um, um, showing the guys who we are as a team and who who we who they're becoming in this program and what they're going to become going to become. Um, I look forward to, I mean, hopefully getting the job done for, like I said, the fans. I mean, we owe it to them. It's been a frustrating season of being close but not getting it done. I mean, if we get this one done, I know I know a lot of people will be happy. Mm-hmm. It was a little bit of, of both in regards to, I mean, we knew we were going to take shots. Therefore, um, Adrian was going to have to make plays. And when he scrambles, pretty much anybody's open on the table. Um, uh, it's anybody's anybody's ball at that point. Um, it's also goes into effect that, I mean, it's um, what we had in for the tight end was pretty appetizing against a defense like Wisconsin's. Um, but they they had a great game plan. Uh, we we put up some pretty significant numbers on a on a very good defense. Um, I'm happy with the way we played as an offense. Um, didn't get the job done in all three aspects of the game, um, which was frustrating. But I'm happy with the way our offense played. On that, on that fourth and two, were you expecting to get the ball in the snap, or was that sort of just making something happen as the play developed? It was <laughs> it was making something happen at the, after the play. Um, Adrian had to scramble and. Kind of look back, and I kind of sensed that there was nobody around me, and then it hit me. I was like, "Oh crap, nobody's around me. I gotta, you know, go." But uh, Adrian made a great play. That one. Is there a run play? What'd you say? Is there a run play? Uh, it was RPO-ish, I guess. How was Adrian? Obviously, I mean, he went through a lot again uh, on that game. And how's he holding up um, heading into this week? Yeah, he's. I mean, he's a warrior. He's. He, it's come out about how he's been battling through stuff all season. He's a warrior. And, um, I can't say enough good things about him, but he's um, he's he's a, he's a, he's the leader of this team, and uh, um, that's all I can really say about that. Not to go on your decision, but the fact that the wins haven't quite come as you hoped, and you haven't got over the hill, is that one of those factors in the pros and cons that a guy is like you is weighing right now? Of like, man, I'd love to mm-hmm. stick around and see that change. Absolutely. I mean, there's 
I have an emotional connection to this university of, of wanting to get this thing turned around, wanting to um, to get it turned around for the guys, for the coaches. Because, um, um, I mean, if we don't, I mean, it's the coaches' really livelihood that's on the line. And we've, that's evident with two weeks, three weeks ago with those four coaches. I mean, we haven't succeeded as, as, as players to getting the details right, and really the coaches had to pay for it. So it's, it's a little it, – it's an emotional tie for me to get it right for those guys and for – people in this university because I um, really owe it to them to get it done. What do you think of just the business in your class in general? How, how can you characterize what that group is dealing with? And maybe you're part of that. Maybe you're not. Like, what do you think of when you think about that? Like, you guys that have seen it all. <laughs> I mean, we've we've have a, had our fair shares of, of ups and downs while, we, while we've been a part of this university. Um, it seems like the guys, these senior classes, I mean, we're just, we're, the toughness is, 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 uh, is something that would describe these guys just because the way we've handled having a close loss and being able to come back and battle, just uh, battle our butts off. But um, it's tough and frustrating at the same time. So it's kind of two words I would describe it. Austin, how would you say you have individually improved over the last four years? What part of your game do you think has improved? Um, the biggest thing for me, I think, was confidence. Um, I know my first couple of years was, um, not to say I wasn't confident, but I mean, there's a, there's a certain aspect of stepping in to a Big Ten team as, as a redshirt freshman, getting action on the field. It's, it's, uh, it's something that it's a little intimidating. And as the years go on, you start to realize that um, those guys are the same size, same speed as guys would go at, go at at practice, and it kind of builds confidence and going against a really good really good defensive line. I mean, Caleb Tanner, Ben Stilley, I mean, it's, those are some of the best and really in this conference. Garrett Nelson, it's, um, it just, over the years, my confidence grew. I think that's the biggest step I took. I'm sure you want to help get the young guys ready. Obviously, not just with Donnie, but Carney, Rollins, Walker, Kirk, everybody sort of where they're developing and that's the, where they're at right now. Yeah, it's, um, it feels like at the start, when when people come in here, they they really tread water in terms of learning the playbook, um, and and that sometimes you get so focused on that. Sometimes the the, the technique and um, really toughness part of it of being a Big Ten tight end kind of slips. So you got to find an even balance. And I think some of those guys that it was um, take a step here and then have to take a step back and take another step here, not to step back, but take another step in a different area. And I think that was the biggest thing with guys like Carney and Rollins um, was. Um, Learning the playbook really well is just you got to take a step um, in the toughness side of things, and then some ways the other for the other guys. Um, but they're they're coming along really well. I'm, I'm happy with the progress that those guys have showed, and I'm excited to see what they can do um, here in, in in a year or two. Um, those guys will be ready. Hopefully, we um, with guys like Nate and Hickman um, staying. I mean, hopefully we've showed them enough, showed them the ropes enough to if we do decide to leave. I mean. They can take over.